We travel deep into northern Burkina Faso, on the front line of an expanding war against the group Islamic State in the Greater Sahara. This is Dablo, a Christian town in a Muslim region, now living in fear. Alexandre Bamago was running late for last Sunday's mass when 20 mass gunmen stepped in front of him. They shot the priest in the head. Then they randomly selected five worshippers, killing them one by one while perishers watched. Among those killed was Bamago's father, a devout Christian now buried in the church grounds. They were in military fatigue. We thought they were the police. But then they told women and children to leave, and the carnage started. While no one has claimed responsibility for the attack, the government believes it has the hallmarks of the Islamic State in the Greater Sahara. In April, self-styled ISIL leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi welcomed new affiliates from Burkina Faso and Mali. Since then, attacks on the Mali-Burkina Faso border have multiplied. Four Western hostages were abducted and then freed after a military operation in this area. A Spanish priest was stabbed to death, and gunmen shot at a Christian procession, killing worshippers. Burkina Faso has to stand up against these terrorists, and we will fight them until violent extremism and intolerance leaves our country. Burkina Faso is a Muslim-majority country, but all of its presidents so far have been Christians. Whilst these two faiths have coexisted and lived together peacefully so far, the latest attacks seek to stoke religious divisions, especially in the north of the country. Northern Burkina Faso is rich in gold and minerals, yet the Muslims of the north, who are mostly Fulani herders, live in poverty. Newly formed rebel groups are exploiting old grievances inequality, an absent state, and religious differences, luring young men into what has become a new battleground.